Crazy lady. Oh, dude. Look at it. I don't want to try to steal this crap. I'm on a break now, Yvette. Shit. You better not fall asleep. Shit. It would have worked. All right, get up over there somewhere else. Dirty socks, gross. Damn it. All right, fine. I don't think there's gonna be anything worthwhile in here. All right. Well, that was uneventful. It's a red one. Magister Carver. Wait a minute. Why does it want me to talk to him again? I haven't learned anything. Have I? I don't feel like I've learned anything. Dude, this area is so large. Someone's in the outhouse screaming for help. Are you all right? Do I sound like I'm all right? <laughs> this is great. Get bloody tainted stew. What do you mean by tainted stew? It's a little no fish into some of my stew. Bloody mackerel must have been tainted. Save me, Lucian. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, this game. Whoa! Chest. Thievery too low. What? Alright. Carrying this with us then. Can I cross? I can cross that, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> She's praying. That's funny. What's this? I found hey. Something. Yeah, chickens. Are they gonna mention anything about my peepers here? Cat skeleton. I did not expect to dig up a cat skeleton. Well, ain't you a tall drink of tallness? What can I do for you, honey? Oh, could I have come in here and gotten an egg from her and taken it to the other chickens? I like your feathers. She fluffs them and coos. You're so very, very sweet to notice, honey. Ain't easy keeping him so nice in a dusty town like this, but I do take pride in him. I need any eggs. Oh, why not? She gave me an egg. Hatch, you know. And between you and me, honey, I don't mind the taste of an omelette now and again. Go on and scoot then, honey. We got a cannibal chicken. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? A bit peckish. It's funny. What does busy mean? Oh, you want a list? I've got eggs to lay, grass to tidy, grain to clear, and magister boots to peck. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. All right. What was this cat skeleton? Cat. The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone, but I'd gladly. 
lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. Maybe you shouldn't be eating tainted fish. Whoa. But I need them. So yummy. They taste like shadows and spoiled cream and turn the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur, like being caressed by black cotton. Was that his skeleton? <laughs> All right, what if I give him three fish? The cat Fresh fish. The fish in a few seconds time, then looks up at you and gives a groggy meow. Maybe. Mm, I should stick to the good stuff for a while. Mm, but I'll miss the shadow. He pokes his nose at your map, leaving a wet spot. I think you'll find something interesting there. Mm, found me some goodies during life number six. Now. And he gave me a present mind, for giving him fresh fish. I need a bit of me time. The fuck? Oh, he's eating. Okay, well, he marked a piece of the map. That was weird. That was a weird interaction there. Go ahead and eat those fishies, buddy. All this damn work and nothing to show for it. Might as well have rotted in the death fog. Dwarven stew. That's probably not tainted though. Dude! I lost my water bottle. You can figure this out. Come on. I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's in my car? Somewhere? So thirsty. Kids. No rest. No rest until we take that sorcerer. Dallas, get up. They're not gonna have anything to buy. What am I doing? You're dead, Alexander. Alexander, you're dead. You have to stay dead until we say you're not dead anymore. That's hey, funny. Mister. Alexander doesn't have to stay dead, does he? You killed Alexander. He'd stay dead. I'm gonna say me. See, told ya. But don't worry, I'll revenge your death. I'll revenge Take your death. Sorcerer, you won't put a sauce collar on me, Dallas. I'm a big bad evil sorcerer, and I'll kill you dead. I hate this game. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I talk to you. Someone's all yelling up in here. What's up, bitches? I'm here! Oh, they don't care. Good, ain't Bet you'd even write a poem for you if you sidled up all nice like. Who shall rise? Who gains the title? Got a bard over here. Interrupted my newest masterpiece. Sorry, can I buy from you? Nope. The bard clears his throat and it is a bard. On his own saliva. He then returns to his poem. Gargles on his own saliva? That's nasty. Hmm. Well, never you mind. Every sonnet I compose is a masterpiece, and my muse has been begging me to write something new. Wait! You might be just the stimulus I needed. I shall craft a rhyme for you and your race. All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a lifetime. Sounds pretty assholey, but it's a special interaction, so I'm gonna do it. Actually, what do I get out of the deal? Fame, notoriety, neither, or both. The thing about a good poem is that it wiggles into the ear. People think it's just a catchy rhyme, but it changes minds and hearts for good and for ill. All right. Hmm. Normally, I'd argue with you. But you do have a certain look about you. <laughs> Very well. 
But if I am to write a first-rate work, you must face some difficult questions. Are you prepared to answer? Sure. sure. He stares at you for a few torturing moments. Your eyes betray the guilt of the human race. You believe it's your right to ravage Rivalon. What say you? Hmm. Why is your human might that Rivalon can find peace? He smiles a crooked smile and runs a hand through his greasy hair. Ah, arrogance. That most peculiar of human traits, given your lack of cultural accomplishment, save the towers you erect in worship of greed. What riches do you seek, human? Seek fellowship, not fortune. Indeed. You seem almost fearless in your conviction. But I know better. Stripped of their swords and shields, humans are as fragile as flower petals. Admit your cowardice. Humans are defined by their steadfast and courageousness. The bard hems and hoards. I just switched my words. Bellows his next words to anyone who might hear. To all lovers of verse, I bring glorious news. I have completed another modern classic. Listen now and bask in its resounding refrain. War drums keep the rhythm of patrol. Humankind establishes that control. divine voice, that idyllic poetry. I could lose myself in Barstan cinnamon eyes. Arguing with Mac is like giving medicine to the dead. He's as stubborn as a corpse and smells the part to boot. No wonder Papa Thrash gives him the stink any time he tries to go downstairs. No. Nothing. What about you? Another sorcerer on the loose. I knew they should have cut off the Meister's head and burned the rest. Gotta make sure it don't grow back. Don't expect no small portions. Same size and rise for everyone. He fixes you with a stare, looks you up and down, weighs you up, the cut of your cloth, the weight of your bag. A moment passes. Then a smile creases his face. A smile carefully constructed to look friendly and authentic. A smile that doesn't reach his eyes. Greeting, stranger. Looking to ease the pain of a decaying world. You're in the right place. He's a drug dealer, he isn't he? At the bar, but can I interest you in a nourishing bowl of stew? Something more exotic. Closes his lips. His fingers drum a pattern on his elbow as he assesses you. It's not gonna work. Oh. I'm sorry, I mistook you for a different kind of person. My mistake. I shall return to serve a meal the customers, and I wish you a good, if boring, appetite. I'm sorry, it's not about the money. Really, you insult me now. This is about fellowship, about a shared worldview amongst devotees of strange and exhilarating experiences. Money is irrelevant. A smile spreads across his face. He holds out his hand. Um, it's good to know a man's price, then turn and walk away. I'm gonna do that, see if he changes his mind. Damn it! He acknowledges your presence with a nod. What let me? A bold choice, on the face of it. Unless you're looking for something a little more tantalizing than a meaty stew and a mildly alcoholic brew. He raises an eyebrow and gives you a sly look. Oh, lame. Actually, let's sell my wares. Alright, I'm gonna get my money back. 
He purses his lips. His fingers drum a pattern on his elbow as he assesses you. Finesse. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mistook you for. I'm sorry. Really? A smile spreads across. Damn it! He gives you the I misclicked. He purses his lips. His fingers drum a pattern. I'm sorry. I mistook you Damn it. for a different I'm sorry. Really? A smile spreads across. Now we're speaking the same language. So, let me ask you this. Across the world, who is renowned above all others for their exquisite lovemaking abilities? Tell them the Lone Wolf say lizards. Use the undead can be exceedingly hot. That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna do the if on one. Gives you a strange look, then realizes you're on the right track. Yes, exactly. And for an insignificantly small sum, I can introduce you to the greatest lizard lover the world has ever seen. Uh, I have something else well, in mind. This is what's available. Take it or leave it. And I suggest you take it. It's better to regret something you did than something you didn't do. Am I right? He holds out his hand. The sure. man vanishes into his apron. Now, let me ask you this. What Am I just going to keep paying him for crap? Flavor of stew do you prefer? Do you like the strong and meaty variety? Or do you prefer it delicate and fragrant? If you get my meaning. Feminine Upstairs touch. Or... On the second floor. Her name is Zara. Her Haven't we met a Zara? Business. Enjoy the experience of a lifetime. He gives you a mischievous grin, then dips his head key. and turns away. I have no idea. Sways on her chair. Her eyes focus Got a drunk on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. She slides one of the drinks towards you. Her head bobbling heavily on her neck as she nods at the sparkling ale. Thanks, friend. Sure. Nothing like a glass of a good stuff. I'm drunk. Dang. Into a pretty shake. Holy crap. Hopefully it didn't uh, remove anything. I was wearing intelligence based. Glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar light. Bottoms up. Why are you determined to drown out your thoughts tonight? Ah, it's a sad story about a lover who left me out cold. Names don't mind your business. Oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe we can cheer her up. Can you just not? Bad move. Cheers to you, me, and, and. Her gaze swivels around the room. Damien's dull knife. This place is horrible. Never mind. Cheers to you. Me. I love her. She's awesome. Me again. Another. Why is her bloodshot and bleary? Where he lines her face. Tell her she should stop drinking. Oh, did I take that out of the drink? Screw up your face and look at her closely. Yeah, because she's super drunk. What do you mean? Yep. These Never known joke. Changing times or, or I wanna know her story. She raises a glass and glances at yours on the bar. The changing time. Get her closely. Yeah, you should stop drinking. Give me one good reason. I'm gonna die. 